Hello guys, welcome back to Mornings with Granny. I hope you're having a good day. Boy, our weather has changed. It's 45 degrees today and rainy. We went from being 75 and 80 back down to 45 and I think it's supposed to be 21 Saturday night. My sister's in Tennessee and she said they were calling for snow up there. But anyway, I went to the grocery store and yes, our gas has went up. It went to 409. Let's see, I went to the dentist Tuesday, it was three, it was either 394 or 399 when I left. Came back, it was 404, and today it's 409. So, my advice to you is combine your errands so you're not burning up as much gas. Get your shopping done now if you can, because when gas goes up, food goes up more. And it's already going up, so... Get it while you can. All right, let me show you what I got. Food Lion. I did find some meat markdowns, which is very unusual. Two fifty three dollars for this pack of ribeye chops. And two oh four dollars for this pack. I'm trying to get the glare off of it, sorry. I've got two little packs of Shoulder steak, this one was 271. Beef is getting extremely high. 276. I don't eat eat too much beef, but I want it once in a while. 489 for the Italian chicken breast, and that's one and a half pound of five breast in there. Already seasoned, individually wrapped. These are the thick pork chops, 264 for that pack. 237 for this one and 187 for this one okay that's all the meat they had the flavored butters on sale and this is kind of a luxury item for me but I like them they were buy two for 239 and it's almost four ounces each so I got one of the cinnamon brown sugar and one of the garlic parmesan basil Salt, guys, is getting hard to find. I've got salt, but I went ahead and picked up one for 59 cents. These beans are Tex-Mex style red beans and a spicy tomato sauce with chipotle peppers. Haven't tried them. Dollar and a quarter. Thought they sounded good. Make sure when you're doing your stockpile that you're buying stuff you can eat straight out of the can or that you can heat with very little energy. These are the pinto beans with the Creole sauce seasoned with pork, dollar and a quarter. Chili beans, 62 cents. Kidney beans, 62 cents. I've got one corned beef, $3.48. You know mom likes her corned beef. One Crisco. I don't use Crisco that much, but I went ahead and picked up one. $6.99 on sale. These things are $8.99. Oil is going up, and it's getting harder to find the cooking oils. They had the pancake mix and the Nutella. If you bought the Nutella for $3.49, you got the $2.50 pancake mix for free, and that's a two-pound box for free. They had the brine and rub kits. It says buttery poultry rub, butcher's master brine, heavy duty heavy duty brine bag and twist tie. Woo, these would be good on chicken, turkey, chops, whatever. So they were 99 cents, so I bought two of them and they're good till 23. But I mean, it's seasoning. You can put that in a jar and keep it longer. These were marked down to 39 cents each, so I got three. And let's see, what else did I get there? Let's step in front of the camera here. I like instant grits once in a while, so I picked up a box of these for $2.59. Crackers, which are another thing getting hard to find, these were $3. And I think that was all at Food Line. Then I went to the discount store. And let me get the stuff where I can show it to you. Since pasta, wheat products are getting harder to find and going up in price, I went ahead and got another case of this. 
and I'm putting it in jars. I'm gonna borrow my daughter's food saver and seal the jars. But I got 12 boxes for $6. And these are one pound boxes and the date is February 23, which they'll last longer. Ice cream, they still had ice cream, three for a dollar. So I still got one left from the last time I went, but I went ahead and got three more since they're three for a dollar. And I like Irish butter. I don't buy it too often because it's expensive, but they had it for $1.99. So I got two of them. They're eight ounces. And it's good until December 2022, which I always put mine in the freezer anyway, which makes them keep longer. Flour, 50 cents each. And these are good till November of 2022. And I bought two of the five pound bags and these were a dollar each and these are good till November, no, May of 2023, sorry. Five pounds each. Got one IGA and one white lily. They had another white lily, but it looked like something had been spilt on it. And so I didn't want to take a chance and get it home and something on it. All right. Let's see. That's all the groceries. Now. Let me tell you how I got them free. I belong to a credit union and every year except last year, they give you money back. So it's free money. And they do a percentage of how much you pay in, like my mortgage is through them. So they do a percentage. So this year I got, in December, I got $90 back and I had just left it sitting there but with food going up, I thought, I'm going to take that 90 out and use it and get food. Because, I mean, it makes more sense to get the food than let it sit there and draw half a percent interest. So that's how I got this food. It was free money from the bank. So I spent about 55 on food and I put $25 gas in the car because, and I still got $10 left, so I think that's right, 55, is that right, 68, yeah, so brain don't work sometimes, but I still got $10 left, so I'll go back probably and check some more sales and see if I can use that $10 on that, or either I'll top my gas tank off again with that $10. I'm going to see my aunt that made the quilt the baby quilt, she finished it for her grandson. She finished that. I tried to get over there while she had it on the frame, but I had so many doctor's appointments and haircut appointments and different things that I just couldn't get over there. So I'm sorry, maybe the next one, because she will put another one up. I know how she is. She will put another one up. But anyway, that's how I got the food free. The bank gave me back $90. I spent 25 on gas and around 55 on food. I got $10 left and we'll see what I can find with that. But stock up guys, it's very important that you stock up. All right, let's look at some mail. Let's see here, I'm making sure we're not showing any addresses on here. Okay, let's see. This is from uh, B. And B is in Pennsylvania. Thank you, B. And this one is from Kathy. Kathy's been with me a long time. And I got two from Kathy. And Kathy is in California. Let me find the other one because I know I got two from her. And here it is. She sent me some tea. No, that's right. <laughs> and she also sent a card. Thank you, Kathy. And then I heard from Holly. And Holly is in Michigan. And I heard from Diane. And Diane is in Pennsylvania. I love getting cards from you guys and seeing what you're doing too. And this is from Sadie. Sadie's been with me a long time too. 
in Sadie's in Pennsylvania. And this is from my friend David. David is in Kansas and he sent a book. And he also sent a card. And there's some other goodies in here. A towel. Isn't that pretty? Bright, summery looking. This is a little trivet. You can hang it on the wall or use it under your pots or bowls. A scrubby pad. It looks handmade. And this is a little soap thing that you could use to either wash dishes or you could use it in the bath instead of one of those sponges. And it looks like it's handmade. There's the soap in it. See, isn't that cute? It's got a little drawstring. Looks like a little mitten almost. And he sent a couple of bars of soap. Boy, I haven't seen cashmere bouquet in a long time. He sent some stickers. Oh, here's another bar of soap. And a little souvenir. Let's see, he also sent something else. Bookmark. And some hand soap. And let's see what this is. I hear something being Oh, it's a little container with a a uh, pen in it, let's see. That looks like my grandmother's Christmas pen. She always wore a Christmas pen. That, that's what that looks like. Thank you, David. So sweet of you. Thank all you guys. Thank you for thinking about me. I appreciate all of you guys. We've got a lot of new subscribers to the channel, so make sure they feel welcome. All right, guys, I've got to put this up, especially the ice cream, before it melts. So I hope this helps some of you see the prices that we're dealing with now. You can still find deals out there, but they're getting harder and harder to find. Like I said, I had the advantage of having money that my bank gave me to use on this, so that paid for this and my gas. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good day. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.